He's younger right now, suddenness, route savvy, a feel for leveraging defenders and finding openings. You name it, he did it. Watch the San Francisco game from last year. He stood out. Well, is he right about Amendola being an upgrade over Welker? For that, we turn to Stephen A. Smith. No. Okay. He's not right. And, you know, these people are just so disrespectful. Uh -huh. it's, like, uh, it's like they've been hanging out with you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All year long. It doesn't make any sense. It's just a flagrant level of disrespect that you show to Wes Welk is just disgusting, okay? This is a dude that averaged 112 receptions, over 1,200 yards for six years with Tom Brady, and a dude that's played in 12 games in the last two years, that has missed 20 games in the last two years. They had 666 receiving yards last season. Oh, all of a sudden, he's going to be an upgrade over Wes Welker. <laughs> oh, really? Really? First of all, we don't even know if he's going to stay healthy enough to play a full season. Okay? That's number one. Number two, in order for him to be an upgrade over Wes Welker, wouldn't he have to double his own level of efficiency in order to pull that off? Now, I like, I like Amendola. I know he can play. I'm not calling him a scrub or anything like that. I understand he's four and a half years younger than Wes Welker. He and gone. as a result, all no, of this no, stuff. I get all of that. But you still have to produce. And his level of production would have to double. Now, maybe that's not going to be hard to do in some people's eyes because you know what? Sam Braff is not throwing him the ball as Tom Brady. But it's still Wes Welker who was catching those passes. Danny Amendola is an upgrade. You haven't seen this dude produce on a level that Wes Welker has produced. Now, if they said to me, Skip, he's going to do special teams. Mm -hmm. And because of that, he's going to be the dual threat. And that's the reason. That's the reason you feel that way. All right, that makes a little more sense. They're just talking receiving. Just as a receiver, this dude is going to be better than Wes Welker. It's entirely disrespectful, and it's got Skip Bayless written all <laughs> over it. It sure does. In fact, this anonymous scout must have been watching our show oh, the first day we dealt with this topic. Are you the anonymous scout? I might be. <laughs> I just might be, Stephen A., and I know my words on the show go in one ear over there and out the other. Yes, it because does. Because there are some empty spaces yes, up is. there. Whatever, that the words can, you can kind of just flow right yeah, through and just, go out the other It does go in one ear right out yeah, the other. I know. <laughs> you know? But what was the first point I made to you the first day we did the topic? I think we have a flashback. No, we, we don't. Oh. We don't have it because we just didn't quite get there. But no. it's okay. I can oh. paraphrase myself. Paraphrase yourself. Because I can't plagiarize myself, right? <laughs> Stephen A., I told you, look at the San Francisco game. I watched it from start to finish. And when I turned my station to the next game, I thought, God, that Amendola is a bad little man. He's a little man, but he's a bad little man because he caught 11 for 102 that day. And he caught an 80-yarder in overtime that should have won the game but was called back by some weird illegal formation penalty that nobody could ever quite explain. So it should have been 11 for 182 that day against the vaunted 49er defense at Candlestick Park. Wow. You know what? I told you the first day. He's a little quicker than Wes is at this stage and age. He's a little more sudden, as the scout said. He's a little faster downfield. He can get by people downfield in ways that Wes Welker probably never could. Now, can he stay healthy is always the question because he hasn't been. But if we're just talking about sheer ability at this stage and age, I will take Danny Amadola's talent. But we're not just talking about sheer ability, which is my point. Uh -oh. I didn't act like Wes Welker was the second coming of Randy Moss, <laughs> half the size. I'm talking about everything, not just his ability, but his durability, his dependability, the relationship, the cohesion, the chemistry he developed with Tom Brady. That's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the level of consistency in terms of number of games played. I'm talking about reliability. That's not what I'm the scout was talking about. Listen, listen. The scout needed. The scout was disrespectful because anybody he was just being talking, honest. Listen, listen, anybody that's talking about football, you've got to take durability into the equation. Can you not? Of course. Of course you have to. So for him to just sit there and talk about ability but act like he's not talking about everything else, that's 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 not that's nonsense. He was talking about everything. Amendola is good, but his level of production would have to double that of what he registered last year, not to mention the fact it would have to double to equal what Wes Welker has done. 
Consistently. Let's talk about what he did last year, Wes Welker. Okay. Who had the second most drops in the National Football League oh, last year? Oh, please. Wes listen, listen, Welker. Listen, listen, listen. Spare me with the quotes our boss Jamie Harwood decided no. to give you. Because that was him mine. And by yourself with his Patriots. You know how but, much but he wait, wait. Patriots. Jamie's, Jamie's stat that he provided okay. was most drops in the postseason since 2008, Wes Welker. Okay. Yeah, because Including he's been a over big one. But, Super Bowl. But to your in your defense, yes. since 2009, we see that Wes Welker leads the NFL in receptions while Danny Amendola is ranked 49. <laughs> Ever heard of Tom Brady? We've yeah, heard of Tom Brady. Really? Right. Yeah. How, come nobody, how come nobody else on the New England Patriots is in the leader in the leadership category in reception? Well, don't they have next man wild? up? Don't Danny they... Amendola. <laughs> you can talk next, get next man up all you want to. Just don't disrespect Wes Welker. I'm not. I love Wes Welker. I didn't love the drops. I didn't love the big drop in the Ravens game that turned the tide in favor of the last, Ravens the, on third and seven five in the, of the third last quarter. Six years when he was healthy. Talk 112, 111, 123. 122, 118. Tom receptions. Brady, Tom Brady, last Tom Brady, years, Tom Brady. 240 receptions in the last two years. 240. Instead of saying he's an upgrade, can you at least say they neutralize one another? I, I, you think he's truly an upgrade over He is a Walker? talent upgrade. He is. He just is. He's faster, quicker. You know what? Younger? I hope it, Well, I ain't going to say yeah. what I was okay. going to say because it'll sound like I'm wishing he gets hurt, and I don't wish that on anybody. No. I don't wish that well, on anybody. Well, you just but, did but, between no, the lines, but no, it's okay. No, I don't wish it's he gets okay. hurt. I really don't wish he gets hurt. Okay. But I'm just saying, if he gets hurt, that, uh, again, that would be a concern they should have had. You got because me. Because you certainly didn't have you it with me. Wes Welker. I agree.